Math uh, 5500, moving into uh, <clears throat> matrix operations for uh, ANOVA for simple linear regression. Um, actually, it doesn't change much for multiple regression, as you'll find out, uh, I think, in the next lesson. But uh, uh, more about that in the next lesson. All right. Previously in uh, a video, we've seen that the um, we can partition out the, the, the variance um, of the sum of squares total as uh, a sum of the sum of squares error and the sum of squares regression. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so if we, um, all right, time for coffee. So if we um, just look at the, the Y values, uh, again, the predicted Ys and observed Ys and the mean Y, we can manipulate the, um, the three sources of variation uh, as we saw in a previous video. Now, I'm throwing uh, uh, another form at you for the sum of squares total. Uh, these two are equivalent, and uh, this form is just going to be easier for me to work with when I verify some of this stuff down here. So, pump the brakes, transition into using matrices to get the sum of squares error, the sum of squares regression, and the sum of squares uh, total. Now, you know, a lot of this stuff looks really familiar. I mean, we've used uh, the, the beta uh, design matrix, our, our uh, response vector, uh, and we've used the transpose before. Uh, nothing really new here. The only thing new you're going to see is this J matrix that we use for uh, the calculation of ANOVA with matrices. And uh, uh, a J matrix is just an N by N matrix of all ones. So if we have a, you know, for example, a, um, uh, a two by two, two matrix, or, well, I'm sorry, we have two uh, n uh, uh, is equal to two, we're going to have a two by two matrix just be, again, all once. Um, I can't make, it, um, can't make it hard if I tried, and I would never try. That'd be, that would be silly. All right, uh, let's see why. All right, I think that's the most uh, important uh, component of this uh, right now. So we see now. Let's 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 focus in. Um, well, it doesn't matter any of them, I guess. Let's do, let's take a look at just the sum of squares uh, total first. So again, we see now that uh, moving into ANOVA uh, using. Sorry, gang. You've probably determined by now that I can't. Uh, I can't write and speak. I'm not that talented. Um, we, we see that the, um, uh, we can calculate the sum of squares total using matrices uh, by this relationship right here. Now, <clears throat> let's break this down and see why. First of all, let's look at the first part. Uh, and this should actually be um, the, um, well, using, using the, the, the new uh, form, that should be, just be the sum of uh, the y squared. Well, I think that's pretty obvious, right? If we revisit when we looked at the sum of the error squared, uh, we looked at uh, error transpose, uh, well, the, the, the vector of the error is transpose times the... Um, column vector of the errors. The reason being, again, uh, I don't want to be redundant, but uh, hey, if you already got this, uh, you can fast forward. Okay, so when we take a linear combination, E1 times E1 plus E2 times E2, uh, we get precisely what we went, get what, what we went, what we want to sum of the error squared. So it should be pretty clear, therefore, that if we want the sum of the y sub i squared, that we would take the y transpose times y for a similar argument, supported by a similar argument. All right. So I think this part uh, is relatively clear. Now, <clears throat> I don't think the right side is relatively clear. Uh, so let me, uh, let me uh, uh, do my job, okay? Uh, so the left side is the 1 over n. Sorry, gang, I'm getting blown. I don't know if you all 
can hear that or not, but I'm getting blown up by emails all of a sudden, so uh, a little distracted there. Okay, let's um, let's let's show why, or yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at why this uh, form is equivalent to this part over here. All right, so it's pretty clever the way this works out. Um, Let's just focus on right now just an n by uh, uh, n equal uh, two situation, and then it clearly can be generalized. Uh, get this over where you, where you guys can see it. Um, it clearly can be generalized to you know n by three, n by four, and so on and so forth. So if we take a look at for n by two, uh, we're going to um, have one half. Y transpose would look like Y1, Y2. The J matrix is just going to be, as we uh, discussed uh, further or previously, um, a, um, a two by two of all ones. And then, of course, our response vector is just uh, Y1, Y2. Now, if uh, we multiply this out, Looking at the first matrix, uh, this matrix times this matrix, so the product, well, we have a 1 by 2, and we have a 2 by 2, so we're going to end up with a 1 by 2 uh, matrix, right? So we take a linear combination, y1 plus y2, and y1 plus y2. And then y1, y2. Now, just taking a look at this, so we have a, a 1 by 2, and we have a, um, a 2 by 1. So this is just going to give us a 1 by 1. So take a linear combination, we get y1 times uh, y1 plus y2. Plus uh, y2 times Well, that gives us <clears throat> which, of course, is just um, the um, sum of the y sub i's. That part's uh, you know a pretty uh, easy part to prove, uh, as is uh, the sum of squares error. Let me. Um, the game plan in this video is to um, to to get a data set and um, uh, you know calculate these, and of course we'll do that in just a second. All right, so let's take a look at the sum of squares error. Uh, which you know we know uh, is just uh, e transpose times e, and we know that this is now y minus uh, x b transpose times y minus x b, um, and this actually just turns out to be uh, y transpose y minus uh, beta transpose x transpose y. All right. The lighting is not so great. Is that right? Y transpose. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. Now let's uh, let's get in and uh, and improve this. Um, so uh, if we um, take this and expand it. So what do we get? Well, uh, first part's uh, pretty easy. Uh, so we get, um, let's see, y transpose y. So minus 2 beta transpose x transpose y plus uh, Beta transpose, it's kind of hard to do this. Right. 
And we have uh, beta transpose in the past. Yes. So X beta transpose could be beta transpose X transpose XB. Uh, and then, of course, the inners and outers give us um, <clears throat> this again become X, uh, X beta transpose becomes beta transpose X. Uh, so uh, no, we get the Y. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, so let's uh, expand this just a little bit. Yeah, this last term, um, this this beta right here. Well, let me do this. can be replaced by, you know, what we know it is. And this is one of those that, uh, boys and girls, you just uh, get a tattoo to the brain, all right? Um, now, let's, uh, let's do a little bit of simplifying. I'm always so afraid I'm going to, you know, I had 2 plus 3 and get 9 or something crazy. Now, <clears throat> what I see here is I see that this part right here and this part right here. So I have X transpose X times X transpose X inverse. So this is just going to be the identity matrix X transpose Y, right? I have no earthly idea why this magically just changed to uh, a negative. So it's the, the, the magic negative insert by your bozo professor. All right, so Y transpose uh, 2 beta, beta transpose uh, XY, and of course this is just beta transpose X transpose Y. All right, so negative 2, so we end up with Y transpose Y minus beta transpose X transpose Y. So, um, you know, we get um, exactly what we set out to prove. Uh, 